Welcome to the Taubman Museum of Art. I'm Cindy Peterson, and we're here in the Carilion Clinic Gallery in the exhibition, Rubber Run New Works by Ray Cass. And we have Ray Cass here with us, artist, collector, educator, longtime friend of the museum, and, and we're so excited to have this exhibition still on view until August 16th. So Ray, can you tell us a little bit about your process, about the exhibition, your involvement as we as we you know, sharing with our community? Well, the four large paintings in River Run, the design elements in them, the linear elements and the patterns are based on projections of sycamore bark that are enlarged on the wall through an overhead projector and cut out. And um, it happens in really four stages. First, 30 foot lengths of paper are rolled on the studio floor and they're toned with mica powder and neutral tint and distilled water. They puddle, that's removed off. The design for these many panels, these are multi-paneled paintings, uh, is made on graph paper. And um, then the paper gets cut, allowing for a border for every single individual panel. And the community comes together and we smoke the paper. That means we make straw fires and apply smoke into the paper. It gets embedded. Once that's done, everything gets brought back into the studio floor and is stapled down in the configuration of the grid that was drawn to correspond with these individual panels. And the positive parts of the stencil are moved around on it until we see a configuration of interesting shapes. And uh, then clear, uh, a fabric is pulled over the entire length of the painting. This, this one is 28 feet long and the wash gets applied through that voile, which is like a nylon fabric. And all these white marks and incidental things that happen take place where the voile moves around and separates a little bit or overlaps and creates a linear pattern. So these are all determined by chance. Um, once that's done, the linear elements are the final thing that's applied in the painting. And uh, there's a painting porch in the front of my studio. Each panel is painted individually, one at a time, by bringing the positive and the negative of the stencil out. And I can move the positive and negatives that make lines thin or thick. And this is an oil emulsion, which is clear. And the coloring is dry pigment that's rubbed into that oil emulsion after it's been rubbed down. Then finally, if we like it, we order the panels to be built and each individual panel gets a layer of beeswax. It's very labor intensive. They get scraped off so that it's covered with a refined beeswax. And finally, after they're stretched, they get two layers of methyl cellulose, which is a synthetic conservation vegetable glue. So that can be removed if they ever have to be cleaned. When I loved coming into your studio, Ray, as you were working on the different panels on the floor and then seeing that process, not only the smoked paper outside, but also the sycamore, um, you know, the patterns and seeing the stencils, but then, you know, really seeing it come together in this exhibition with, like you said, it's 28 feet wide, this particular one, and, you know, quite, quite high. So seeing that come to life in the gallery for the first time. So thank you for for sharing that and, and that powerful um, and meditative um, opportunity where you can get up close, but you can also you know, just spend time in the gallery looking from afar. Uh, this is my first opportunity to see them on the walls. I don't have a wall big enough in the studio. So I thought of them as like Navajo sand paintings or, or something like that. But it, it's wonderful to see them in real life. I agree. So on view until August 16th, thank you, Ray Cass, for joining us and for making this exhibition an opportunity for visitors at the Tallman Museum of Art. Thank you. It's been a pleasure.